Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. Um, this is going to be a semi-somber video. An actor who played in a series that I was very attached to when I was younger has apparently committed suicide. Stan Kirsch dies by suicide. Highlander TV series. He was 51 years old. Stan Kirsch... A veteran actor best known for his starring role on the Highlander television series was report or has reportedly committed suicide, as reported by TMZ, of all people. The actor's wife, Kirsten Green, found his body hanging in the bathroom of their Los Angeles home on Saturday, though the circumstances leading up to the apparent suicide Aren't yet clear, paramedics were quickly dispatched to the residence when the body was found, but Kirsch was unfortunately pronounced dead on the scene where there was nothing they could do to save him. He was just 51 years old. Born in New York City in 1968, Kirsch knew very early on in his life he wanted to be an actor. Starting in his career when he was still a very young child, at the age of four, he secured his first acting gig by appearing in multiple television commercials for Campbell Soup products. He would later attend Duke University with a major in political science, but Kirsch was clearly never quite unable to shake the acting bug, pursuing filmmaking and acting work for the rest of his life. Perhaps the claim to fame for Kirsch came in a starring role as Richie in... The Highlander television series, which initially debuted in 1992, on the show, Kirsch portrayed the leader or the lead character Richie Ryan from the inception of the series until season five, when the actor chose to leave. Though he also came back for a special appearance in the series finale. The official Facebook page for Highlander, the series also recognized Kirsch's death with a touching statement posted online. Without Stan Kirsch, Highlander the series would have been far less. He brought a sense of humor, kindness, and youthful enthusiasm to the character of Richie Ryan for six seasons. The post reads, Following the success of his role in Highlander ser the series, Kirsch continued to work in television by appearing in a variety of shows. Um, this includes parts on Friends, Jag, Love Boat, The Next Wave, and Family Law. He has several film credits as well, appearing in movies like Shallow Ground, Straight Eye, the movie, and Deep Rescue in 2008. Kirsch also focused his talents on helping other aspiring actors rising up in the business by opening his own acting studio called Stan Kirsch Studios. According to the website, Stan taught his students how to utilize his no-bullshit approach, which incorporates all acting methods, practical tools, and how to utilize them in the audition room on and on set. Kirsten Green, Kirsch's wife, also spoke about her husband's sudden passing in a statement released online. I want to thank any or everyone for the outpouring of love and support. I have been able to respond to all the texts, or haven't been able to respond to all the texts, calls, emails, but have read or listened to every single one of them. I feel surrounded by love and am forever grateful to each and every one of you, writes, or she writes in a statement, and this time our thoughts are with her and everyone else affected by Kirsch's shock, shocking passing. May he rest in peace. Yeah, Stan Kirsch, um, when I was younger I used to watch Highlander religiously along with my older brother and whatnot. I mean, Richie was one of the coolest characters in the show. He was a more or he was a mortal in the first couple seasons and then he became immortal because he was a foundling, you know? And Duncan McLeod took him under his wing. I mean some of the greatest episodes or some of my favorite episodes he was in. I hadn't heard much from him since or since Highlander stopped, but doesn't mean that his loss from or his loss is any less impactful. Anyway, folks, it is a sad day. Um 
Richie, Stan, you are missed. And it is a slightly sadder world without you. Anyway, folks, I'm not going to do the outro. That's inappropriate. What do you guys all think about this loss in Hollywood? What do you all, or what are your thoughts? Please give your thoughts and prayers to his family and friends. Anyway, folks, this has been Orange Heart Reviews. Catch you all on the next one.